Well, hello and welcome to the FA Cup playthrough where we've reached the first round proper where the League 1 teams, League 2 teams and National League compete for place into round 2. We have 8 boys going into round 2. That makes the number up to 64 teams in this first round. 32 ties. And as you can see, there's the there's the fixtures for the uh, first round. I'm not going to go all through them. But uh, we've got featured games. We've got uh, Bromley and Oldham. They'll be first up. And then it'll be Dover against Shrewsbury. Um, we'll have uh, Walsall against Colville Town. The very, our very own, my very own Colville Town. And Yeovil against Bradford City. So there are the four games we're going to highlight. We might have some goals from other games. But we'll see how this playthrough starts off. So that's the everything out of the way. And oh, just one more thing. that uh, There will be replay. So if there's a... A draw tonight there will be a replay so i'm going to introduce the replays i do think it's uh i just think it's the glory and the beauty of the fa cup so anyway let's get to the first game as we go to bromley so they'll take on oldham athletic in the first game so let's get to the stadium well there we are for the first tie in this fa cup first round and michael cheek up top dennis and torme on the flanks, Burnett and Whiteley just supporting. As for Oldham Athletic, they won't want no mishaps or anything. So De Silva up top with Hope Williams behind. They've got a three. Peregrini, Sutton and Diara are the back three. Well, it's going to be a late afternoon kick-off and, well, hopefully we'll get a decent time. Bromley from the National League to get the game on the way. Michael Keats does and it's from in there white shirts black shorts kicking left to right Oldham blue and white kicking right to left and it's going to be Dennis hopefully uh, it's always a pleasure to try and get to the latter of Charles get the big boys in that's a good ball in and oh, um, my word it's off the bar what a chance for Bromley first first up absolutely nearly nailed it but a good ball in by Partington and well it's that has just hit the bar Michael Cheek almost getting his account opened in the FA Cup to Tomei Skeffington will play this near side that's a good ball to Dennis oh it's a good ball through but Paragini just uh, just intercepting up stop. Oh, Dennis. Oh, that's a good ball to Whiteley. Uh, it's a shot. Oh, keepers made a good save. I think it looked more spectacular than the shot warranted, but now uh, Whiteley well, he's having a strike from 20 yards, 20 odd yards. It's corner kick. First one to Bromley. As Whiteley will take it. Right into the near post, but Capington, Partington. Oh, and he's, oh, and again, the keeper's had to make a save. Well, was it heading for the top corner? I don't know. It looked a bit going wide, but the keeper couldn't take no chances. There's a good shot again. Well, absolutely let him fly. Oh, and it's cool. Paragini. Playing it all the way across to Kelly Adun. Inside to Whelan. Oh, well tackled Bennett. Burnett has a super tackle. But he's been dispossessed. There's a chance. And it's chance for De Silva. Oh, and it come off the defender. But a good save by the keeper. Now the deflection took, deflection took the sting out of the shot. But the keeper had to make the save. It's just well, a good save. And it's a ball to the near post, but well headed out. Roden, Pope, to Whelan, cross to Williams, Farge, oh, and Partington, Dennis, now to and it's Dennis again, and then Dennis has got some space, pace, he's got the Parkington who pointed in their pose and that's the skull that Bromley were looking for and they've been well deserved 
And is there shock on the cars here at the A Stadium in Bromley? <laughs> Bromley one, Oldham Athletic nil. There's an inquest in the defence. And they must say Bromley have well deserved the lead. The team, Cheek, playing it to Dennis. He's got Partington who they played well down that right hand side. Nice ball in and a good finish. Keely done. Out. Freeland. Bowden over the top, but it's got to go out for the goal kick to Bromley. I must say, Bromley have uh, not let themselves down in this tie for sure. Peak. Sutton. Well plays up towards. Oh, Skeffington to Williams. Now to Hart. Just on for Farge, that's got ball forward to De Silva, Hope, Hope, he's trying to cut one inside and it's going to be a good shot but, oh the keeper spilled it and, well it's been put in by Hope, it was a nice build up on that left hand side, a good shot, the goalkeeper couldn't hold it and Hope has just tapped it into the empty net, one of the easiest chances he'll get for sure. And that's put Oldham back into the game. After 53 minutes. We'll see it again. It's down that left hand side. Good ball in. Hope. Uh, good, sh good shot. Keeper couldn't quite hold it. Hope's followed up. One old. Freeland. Ah, uh, well played Burnett. Now he's got a break on. He's got Cheek on this left hand side. Michael Cheek. And he's got. Termine, the ball in, Ooh. well Burnley to have made the run from midfield and went into a good position but the finish was absolutely abysmal, to the near post, uh, easy for the keeper to watch that go past, uh, to Hart, Williams, uh, that's the ball to Hope, uh, it's time for Williams and it's, ooh, and it's Almost played through, but it's going to be a corner kick. So, Whelan, hold on. Uh, De Silva, Williams. Oh, we tackle on the box. Into the box, but it's going to be a free kick. Now a bit frantic there and a bit desperate from Bromley. So it's going to be Durnley to take it. Oh, it's come off the wall and it's going to go for a corner kick. Uh, it's just hit the, hit the wall and gone over. And another corner kick to Oldham. And it's... Pressure's coming on at the minute and it's a good, uh, good punch out. Only guys far as bold and Williams. Cross to... No. Durnley trying to find a way through and it's gone through and Durnley's oh and the keeper saved and this time spilled it but well the defence reacted quite quickly and they saved the keeper's blushes there yeah ball through and oh, good save by the keeper he's going to parry it out but oh, good defending by the Bromley centre back oh Bowden's the ball back, there's Williams. Oh, that's a good ball to De Silva. Got a chance on it. What a good save by Cousins. This time it was a good save. De Silva thought he was in. And Partington down the line to Whiteley. Oh, that's a good ball to Skeppington now then, as he got the ball to Alibi to shoot. And he scores. Oh, Bromley take the lead with only four minutes left. They've been under, under such immense pressure. And Valibai gets a shot on goal. His first shot on goal since coming on. And he's put Bromley into the lead. And his fans have absolutely gone berserk. 
Well, they didn't deal with the counter-attack. You see Skeppington making a run. Plays it inside to Alibi. He's hit it first time. Cross the keeper. 2-1 Bromley. Well, what a terrific start to this Cafe Cup first round. As Bromley looked like, well, they've only got to hang on for four minutes. Stop. Plays it right across the park to Dennis. A touch for Whiteley. Whiteley with a shot, but it's gone aimlessly wide. Probably bit as well to run it into the corner and play out these last few minutes, but what a what a start to this FA Cup first round. And Bromley looked like going in the out for the second round. That'll be an absolute great achievement for his club and well it's just one more chance is there for Oldham Williams across to Bowden up towards and Cousins will take it and he will be in no worry whatsoever he places this down the line and Bromley goes through to the second round beating the second division club Oldham Athletic by two goals to one Alibi scoring after 87 minutes in the last few minutes. After Whiteley gave him a league hope for Oldham Athletic on 54. Well, there's the first game out of the way in this FA Cup first round. And what a super victory for Bromley. Taking the National League side into, into the second round. Defeating the league, defu, league two opponents, Oldham Athletic. So, that's the first game. Let's get to the second game where Dover Athletic have had their problems will take on Shrewsbury Town from League Division 1 So we are at Gloomy Dover and it's going to be Dover to get the game on the way in this FA Cup first round playing League 1 Shrewsbury Town well, a good sell out here at the Krabby Stadium and of course it's Dover in their white shirts, black shirts kick it left to right but can they upset this first division side that's a straight through for Ado that's a super ball and Ado has scored in the first couple of minutes well Shrewsbury Town ball to, to Somsey oh that's a good ball down to Osgove Osgove he'll check back can he swing one in? He can to the far post. Oh, and it's Caton who's just... Well, he got to, got a shot in, but it's got blocked. Uh, Bella. He's trying to ward off Woods. Gregory come all the way back. He's played up towards Cosgrove, but... Oh, and it's Charles Cosgrove. Charles Grove again, but... Oh, Vela, Vela, 2-0. And Shrewsbury Town have really come out of the traps. And that's two goals to nil. Well, that may be unassailable. As the National League side have been, well, the pace by Shrewsbury that they're playing at, it's... Well, oh, Park's no chance. Well, 2 0. We've only played 12 minutes. It's got to be a long rest of the game for Dover. Well, Shrewsbury Town have been relentless. They've really started this game in a very positive attitude. Johnson, Daniels. There's a doe. Out to Lahey. Crossed in. A doe with an header, and it's time. It's over the bar. Wow, the difference in class is absolutely in abundance. Daniels. Cosgrove now then he's come across. Oh, and he's been brought down. They just took it away from him. That's going to be a book in for Hanson. Over midfielder. Cosgrove. That's just going to be a tricky feat. Took it away from him and, and they just clipped his heels. Whether it wanted a booking, I don't know.
Sorry, Vola to take it. He's going to take it, and it's oh, it's hit the wall. Chance for Lehi. Now then, here's a chance. Can he cross one in? He's trying to, but it's oh, ah, well, that was a let off at over, but there's Costco. He's been dropped by Daniels. Wally. Stopped towards Cosgrove. Bella. Oh, well played. And another free kick. He's taking it quickly this time. And it's... Oh, and it's cleared without anywhere will do. Dover under such immense pressure. And a lot half oh, ball down, but Johnson. Oh, and it's fell to a doe, and this time the keeper's made a good save. And it fell nicely for the big striker. And uh, you'd have put your money on him putting that in the back of the net, but uh, it's a good save by the keeper. Wood Graves. Cosgrove. Now's a chance. Oh, and it's a chance. Oh, and he's just put it wide. Well, it's probably the first chance that Dover have had in this game, and he's just put it wide. It was a super ball over. And he just caught it on the volley, but he's just pulled it wide. I've said to take it. Towards Cosgrove. Rado, that's got ball to Wally, and Daniels as well, he's, yes, the follow-up, that's Rosby Town go three goals into the lead, and it's a chance for Greaves, now here's Cosgrove, now he's got, he's got Gregory running, and he, and chance in, yes, I've got Russell one back. Well, it was nicely worked and good running by Gregory up top and Kane has tucked it into the corner of the net. Well, but the tide be changing going into the second half. There's a ball and Kane's just tucked it past the keeper. Well... Oh, that inspired Shrewsbury, or oh, that inspired Dover. Well, there's the half-time whistle, it's Dover 1, Shrewsbury down 3. I think that next goal could be vital in the game, eh? There's Gregory. Chance. Chance for Cosgrave. Got to run on the right-hand side, but no, it's Graves. And it's a chance in. Oh, and it's not fell for the kindly for Dover. Wife who comes on to Swansea is right back. Wally take the corner kick. It's a good, nice ball in, but that's right, chance for a uh, four-one. Well, you can't let them turn in the box, and the defending again by Dover has been the downfall. You can see it came to a doe and well he just tucked it in easily. Four goals to one. Well this is becoming a one-sided game. Good over. I've got two minutes of stoppage time. I think that's the just a formality now. It's just gonna play out the time. It's down the line, Pierre, uh, that should be enough, and that is four goals to one to Dover, uh, to Shrewsbury, comprehensively beaten Dover, but, well, the season will go on for them, and wish them all the best, emphatically beaten their Dover Athletic, and by Shrewsbury, by four goals to one, so Shrewsbury Town who go into the second round, draw and that will be coming up next week well anyway that's uh, two games out of the way we're going to show you the goals now from uh, Kingsland and Plymouth Argyle so watch out for them there's King 
over to Warrington. Galloway will put it out back to Wilson. Now there's Hardy. To Galloway being trapped by Richards. Let's cross one in. It's a good ball to Hardy, but keeper's made a save, but he's. Well, they didn't deal with it. They made a good save in the initially, but Carrick has scored for Plymouth after 13 minutes. And that puts the lead one side in the lead. Now, the keeper made a good save, but... Well, the defence didn't deal with it. You can see it's a good ball by Hardy. Good reactionary save. and Well, it's just dropped nicely. Cluners, gear, see... Clunan, skip up. Oh, I was asking for the foul, but no, nothing given. Played it towards Hardy. Oh, now it's through, but. Oh, well played. Well, he just stopped him in his tracks, didn't he? And that's going to be red. Oh, he's been sent off. Well, a bit controversial, that. It was. Well, it was through and it's, well... Bolton. Oh, well played. Well, now the referee don't like Lin King's Linners on. It's, well, early booking. Well, anyway, it's going to be Cooper to take it. Brown booked. Gets one into the box for the big fellas. Uh, it's a good ball over, but it's I've missed everybody. It's going to be a, a goal kick. Meh. Ball down the line, but Grant's cut it out. That's a good ball to Hardy. And it's Hardy. He's going to score. Well, it's as simple as that. And Plymouth Argyle get total control of the game now on 48 minutes it was a poor clearance by the Kingsling defence there's he and it's well they're so spread out and it's hard oh, he's just slipped past the defender 2-0 away going to space oh well tackle this time the three says that's okay and it's Hardy Chance for Archer. Oh. Oh, should have been three. Garrick. Bolton. Oh, well play. Clunan again. The skipper's doing well. He can play one into Marais. He can. And he slips it over and he's pulled one back. And Kingsling found himself back in the game. We're down to ten men. That was a cool finish by Marais, but a super bit of play again by Clunan. The skipper. Battling away, getting the ball, getting space. Played a delightful ball through the middle. Marais getting away from the defender and he's just chipped it over the keeper. That's 2-1. King Lincoln catch Plymouth on the break. He would. And it's done for... Oh, wow, Cl <laughs> Clunan just a little bit. <laughs> well, just a bit too keen, weren't they? Another book in, another Kingsley man in the book. And that was no worse than the sending off. We've got. There's a chance for Garrick. Broom. Hang on the edge of the box, Garrick. And it's cleared away. That'll be throw to Plymouth, and I'm sure that will be game set and match. Holton to take it. And there's the final whistle. Kingsling 1, Plymouth 2. Well, did the sending off make a difference? Because Marais did pull one back in the second half, but it's Plymouth Argyle go through to the third round. Between this FA Cup tie between Port Vale and Maidenhead. Parry. Across the park to Beckwith. 
corner. Oh, that almost. There's Rodney. Now there's a chance for Proctor. Jones is away on that left hand side. He's got players in the box. He could pull it back and he. Oh, and he. Yes. Yeah, and there's the first goal for Port Vale. They worked it on that left hand side to get space on the left hand side, and Proctor has turned it in. I'm giving the League Division 2 side the lead in this the first round FA Cup against Maidenhead. And that will settle a few nerves in the supporters, that's for sure, and the manager. But it was well played on the left hand side. You can see he's got round the back of the defence. Went to pull it back. It didn't, well, it just teed up lovely for Proctor to poke it past the keeper. Politic. Ball to Hurst. Jones. Plays it down the channel to Proctor. He could. Oh, and that was almost in the top corner. Well, supporters on this side thought that would have gone in the net, but you can see it just clicked the side. It was a, from a cute angle, but. Ooh, how close was that? Ferdinand. And it's chance for Smith. Oh, he plays some nice football. And it's chance for Ooh, and it's took a deflection. Coverland in the Portwell goal just collecting as Jones had a super first half. He's made himself available. There's Walker. There's one forward to Ah so the ball again there's Jones. And it's and it's chance for Proctor for his second, yes! And Proctor gets the second goal for Port Vale, and that is what they needed to give themselves a cushion. And again, from this man on this left hand side, Jones, he's been absolutely superb. And that should put it. You see the ball on the left hand side, Jones, just low into the box. Ah, oh, what a toe poke past the keeper. 2 0. For Maidenhead, well, anyway, it's Politic. There's Jones. Side to Hurst. There's Walker. Has he got one over the top? He has, and Wilson's in! Oh, and it. Well, there were suspicions of offside, but the flag stayed down. Wilson had a chance. Lack of control, just letting him down. There up. Shackleford. Shackleford again. And now Smith's got to pull Martin across. The centre back, but that's a good ball. Oh, and my word. My word, he caught that well, but he probably caught it too well. And it's at the now then, Jones. Down the line to Proctor. He's got Wilson in. Now Wilson's through on goal. Can he? Oh, and he's, oh, he's been tripped, surely. Oh, the referee should have given a penalty there. Down here. Keeks should take the corner kick. Are they going to get a... No, that's... It's Wells. Well... The watch is stopped. <laughs> Referee's watch is stopped. Wells. Oh. And he's given a free kick. <laughs> Three minutes over time, and so he said we're going to play a minute, but well, we've gone to the chance for Maiden then. Well, they'll try and take it, not for sure. Got to be Keats to take it. Oh, and he's, oh, what a super free kick. Well, he's got. He's got the consolation of Maidenhead. I don't know whether they deserved it, but they've perseverance, I suppose. So Maidenhead get, do get their consolation. Leicester Stadium, it's a lovely stadium. As we also went Putman, Robertson. And there's Putman. Now it's left hand side to McGlinchey. Now it's run down the left by Connor Smith. As Ladderby will get his back. No, he's been robbed by. And it's chance for Connor Smith. Oh, he just put it past the post. Oh, what a glorious chance for Colville. A beautiful ball by McGlinchey. And Connor Smith is. Well, he just took it off Ladderby. Cut inside. Just tried to tuck it into that far post. But well, it's just gone wrong side of the post for the Ravens. Or to Shaw. Luke Shaw. Down to Berridge. 
Waiting for a run down that right hand side by Alex Dean. And it's uh, going to be a cut, no. And Burridge will cross in. Luke Saw with a flicked header, but uh, Rush was just saving. Nice bright start by Colville. Still no score. Vladimir and Perry. Down this right hand side, he's on taking on Putman. Just got inside now, then that's a good ball to White. Oh, but Alex, a good ball in a dangerous area and an important header there by Eggleton with a corner kick to Walsall. It's Wilkinson. Oh, he's trying to get the one in, but well saved, Dini. Robertson Smith Putman swinging it right across the park to Dean Luke Shaw in a bit of space oh that's a good ball too and it's well must have come off Berridge in the end but it was a lovely ball by Luke Shaw Crossing it over and it's well Tim Berry's just unlucky not to get the corner kick. Good goalkeeping. Brave goalkeeping. Towers. All across the park to Dean. No Dean can hit one. He has no ball and the keeper's Well he must have saw it late. It's Butman. Ball to Smith. It's hard to find. Luke Shaw on that right outside, lovely ball, now Berridge, got a chance, can he pull one back for Key, he's got all and it's, well offside, giving in the end to Berridge, but, oh, that was a chance, should have shot the other side of the goal, but he's super, oh, poor ball, and Dean's gone out of position now, also got a chance to break, I've got, I'm, got numbers back, so that's going to be a flight relief for Colville. There's Ladderby. Oh, and it's a chance for the shot, but ah, it's well blocked. He's allowed to take the free kick. Oh, it's headed out. Bates. A ball to Wilkinson. Oh, turn and shot, but Claudine is down to his left. Make the save. Dean. A short, Luke Short. Can he play one down to Jardine? He can. And a chance for Smith! Ooh, what a super shot. Look, we'll make a one-touch football. Luke Shaw inside to Connor Smith. To Jardine, sorry. Lay off by Billy Key, but uh, Smith shot just wide. Oh, played holder just holding the ball up. Ward. Down the line, ball to Khan. Dean's tracking back. Ward has a chance for Khan again, but Ward, nice ball in, but uh, it's got away by Colville. Now then, there's a chance for Colville to break. And can Billy Key get Jardine in? He can. And Jardine's away. Has he got a chance? Can he? He's cut inside, yes, Hassan Jardine! Carl Jardine! Has broke away and gave Colville Town the lead here at Beskett Stadium. Oh, and he's gone over to the supporters behind that goal. What a finish from the young lad. You can see how much it means to these supporters and Adam Stevens jumps in the air, punches the punches the air see he's cut inside tight angle but well the power's just gone past the keeper that's Cobble Town 1 and Walsall now we've also make a couple of substitutions the previous uh, non-league sides gone out Perry out to White. There's Bates. And it's chance. Oh, it's got it. Oh, oh, what a save by Dini. Well, if he's Matt saving, 
saves, that's one of them. That was an absolute blinding save. Kinsella, we've got two minutes of stoppage time. Ward on this near side. Gun. Colville, well, that's a risky challenge. And it's a ball in, but Putman should score. He's just cleared it, and now the Scoreville Town go into the act for the second round of Jardine on 86 minutes. Puts Scoreville Town into the act. What a super result. An absolute shock. Well, a fabulous result there for Colville as they go through one goal to nil. Pants to Carl Jardines. The substitute came on for Tim Berridge. On 86 minutes, walks all out. Colville in the at. Well, that's the first game. Let's get to the second game now, where Yeovil Town will take on Bradford City. Scotto, Yeovil have got to get organised in defence. Ah, that's well played, but referee says that's a foul. Free kick to Bradford City. Well, it's a bright start to the game. And I was just catching. A Bradford player, so it's going to be a free kick to with Cook to gay kick. Oh, that's a good shot! Oh, parried out by the keeper. That was a lovely save. Far side is Barnett. Ah, oh, good tackle by Crankshaw. Down the line to Threckold. They go to Cook. Oh, an average through. Got a chance, Lavery, and he's put Bradford in the lead on 17 minutes. It was a nice break by the Yorkshire club. And he's well. Let's <laughs> go in the Yeovil supporters. Going is only getting a bit of use, but what a super finish by Lavery. A great ball. Um, yes, the defender left him, he's on goal, he's just teed himself up, 1-0 Bradford. He's been famous for their slope, but uh, that's a good ball to Gorman. Oh, cross it over and simple, yes! Elville Town have equalised on the 21st minute. And simple played in the ball, controlled quite well. And he's absolutely buried it past the keeper. Well, all square. There's a bit of a debate in the Bradford defence, but see, it's a lovely little chip into the box, and Simpers just well chested it down and put it past the keeper. One-one. Crunchall take this free kick. Oh, Cook, Cook with a turn and shot, but Smith. Gladly receives Barnett. Well, he's working into a bit of bit of space. They've and it's going to be Knowles. He's got the run on the right hand side by a Little. He'll cross one. He will and quickly headers over the bar. Wow, the oh Donald's absolutely fuming with his defence. He got in front of the centre back. Probably should have done a little bit better, but a good cross by a Little. But um, half the supporters weren't happy with that, but it was a good tackle. Well, anyway, by Dalg. Looking cut it inside. And it's a four. Oh, yes! And Bradford retake the lead on 54 minutes. And this time, Cook coming into the box. And puts it past the keeper. The keeper had absolutely no chance, but he's worked on that left hand side. And they see Cook was pulling off the defender, and he's well, it was easy, easy goal for them. So that's 2 1 Bradford. Three Williams. Quickly. Oh, it's a good ball to Knowles. Oh, Knowles has equalised. What a super finish. Absolutely buried it into the corner of the net. The keeper did come out to try and narrow the angle, but thought it was going to go for the chip, but had blasted it into the corner. But what an important ball by Quigley to win. A super head on. 
you can see it again it's oh, Barry Quigley's just flicked it on into the path of Knowles and that's 2-2 two -two. well we're back on back game on and now it's chance for Yeovil to and it's Gorman down to Knowles and it's a good bit in, and it's a goal, and what a goal! Yeovil take the lead on 71 minutes, and it's that man quickly. He's been an absolute menace in for that Bradford defence. It was a lovely break out. <laughs> well, three goals to two, we can see, we didn't see the full picture here, but... It was lovely worked on that right hand side, lovely low cross in. And Quigley's just, well, just keep it on side. 3 2 Yeovil. As Wilkinson comes on for Barnett. That's a chance for. I think Alders could be chanced by Darth. Diaf, can't sure. Chance, can he? He's got one up to the far post, but Smith. Uh, just collects through to the second round. They'll be absolutely well. It's a good bonus for them. There's quickly won it. <laughs> Over the top. Oh, I'm little. Oh, quickly. Oh, it's. But there's given a foul, bit too robust there for Quigley. Worthington. There's the ball to Simpa with a shot, but it's aimlessly wide. Full concern, but that should be enough now. And Yeovil just going to play out the time, that's for sure. Hunt. There's Evans. Whoa, we but there's the final whistle. What a super victory for Yeovil Town. By three goals to two. Lavery gave him Bradford the lead on 18. But Simper equalising just before half time. And Bradford went to the lead twice. But it's Yeovil who come out the winners. Three goals to two. And they're in the act for the second round. So final result. It's Yeovil Town three. Bradford City two. That's the end of the first round of this year's FA Cup. And now let's have a look at the, all the results from the first round. And see who's got through. Well, there's the results from the FA Cup first round. We could go down and we'll take a while, but... Aquitas Danny 2, Bolton 2, so they go to a replay. Older shot, 3 to beat, 2nd Division... Newport County by three goals to nil. Bristol Rovers and Stockport need to play again. Bromley, we saw, beat Oldham two goals to one. Burton Albion, three. Gillingham, nil. Cambridge United, one. Fleetwood, one. That's another another replay. And Chesterfield, one. Sutton United, nil. So Chesterfield beating the new boys to League Division two by a goal to nil. Colchester United, four. Solly or Moors, they lost 4-1. And Crew Alexander, three. South End, nil. Doncaster Rovers, and Hartlepool played out a 2-2 draw. Hartlepool obviously just lost their manager, Dave Chandler. Uh, Dover lost 4-1 quite easily to Shrewsbury. As we saw, Eastleigh nil, Grimsby Town 1, Forest Green Rovers 3, Borough 1, Halifax nil, Weymouth 2, Harrogate 1, Cheltenham nil. So what a surprise that was. The League Division 2 leading, beating our, our top team in our EFL League 1 playthrough. So how are we going to go into the second round? Again, Ling 1, Plymouth Argyle 2. We saw the goals from that game. Lincoln City 1, Leighton Orient 1. That's uh, a replay. Mansfield 2, Barrow 0. Northampton Town 2, beating Old Tringham 2-0. Notts County 2, Barnet 2. The two National League sides must play again. Port Vale 2, Maidenhead 1. We saw the goals from that. Salford City 2, Stevenage Borough 0. Scunthorpe 0, Oxford United 1. Uh, Swindon Town 1, Carlisle United 4, so Carlisle United 
going through. Um, Torquay United beat Dagenham and Redbridge by a goal to nil. Tramia Rovers extra to a, need to play again after a 1 1 draw. Walsall nil, Colville Town 1. So our Ravens have got through to the second round. Wilson 2, Rochdale 1. Wimbledon 1, Morecambe nil. Uh, that's uh, a win for Wimbledon from the EFL League 1 uh, tie. And that's uh, Walkington 1, uh, Crawley Town nil. Wrexham 2, MK Dons 2. Yeovil 3 of Ressor beat Bradford City by 3 goals to 2. So there are your results from the F FA Cup first round. We've got a few, re few red plays. We'll probably play a couple of them. Not next week, but the week after. So watch out for them. Uh, watch out next week for the draw. No AFL in the week. I'm um, having a rest. Just be the draw. I so do the FA Cup second round draw. So watch out for that. So thank you very much for watching. I hope it's okay. And I'll 